Here we are numbing our entry sites with lidocaine. This will numb the skin so that we can make a little hole with a bigger needle through which we will insert our cannula. And this is the pilot hole we're making. This is the bigger needle. And we're just making the holes. And this is where we are going to go in with our blunt needle that has the thread on it. And here's the cannula with the thread on, on the cannula. And we're using it to insert the thread all the way down. And when we pull the cannula out, the thread stays in and the end of the thread sticks out. So then we can use that same port and go in a different direction. And the cannula is blunt, so it's not really hurting. Plus we numb the track already, so the patient's really not in any discomfort. And see how the threads are sticking out? We're gonna pull those after we place the threads. We're gonna place the threads on both sides and we're gonna have them going in different directions, different vectors. Some of the threads will be pulling up, some of them will be pulling back. And the threads have textured barbs on them so that when you pull, it doesn't come back out. The barbs on the thread will hold the skin back and up when you pull it tight. And we can do the same thing on the neck. We can put the threads in and define that jawline and pull the neck up. And this is going to give you a nice tightening on the neck without having to do a surgical neck lift. And here's another thread going into the lower part of the neck. This will help that loose crepey skin on the bottom of the neck. We're going to take those two and pull it back. And now we are doing the brow. Notice we're doing a reverse insertion. So instead of point going from top to bottom, we're going to from in from the bottom. We insert the threads all the way up past the hairline. Then we can pull on the thread to lift. Here we're going in two directions. We just went up. Now we're going up and back a little bit. We just pull everything tight and snip. Wipe off any blood, make sure the threads are not sticking out. We can tie the end so that they stay fixed. We just, when there's a single thread, we don't have to tie it. We don't have to tie it at all. It just helps uh, lift and stay better. And then we just snip the ends and we make sure that the end of the threads the knot, and the knot will get buried under the skin and the skin will just close over there's no stitches necessary as the threads dissolve away over time over the next couple of months the threads are going to start dissolving but at the same time your own collagen is building around those tight threads and the collagen is what's going to give you the longevity and the um, improvement on the skin. As the collagen forms around the threads, it produces new skin and you'll see the glow on your face. You'll see a little bit of extra volume and the tightness is from the new collagen fibers just kind of winding around those threads and giving you a lift that will persist even after the threads have dissolved away. That is our PDO thread lift. This next part is optional. This is a bonus. We're injecting PRF into the earlobe to just give it a little uh, extra collagen and plumpness. And then we're going to inject PRF strategically in other areas and I like this corner of the mouth where you have that uh, some of those folds in the tear troughs it's a great area for PRF this next part is an Omni Aesthetics exclusive here we are injecting plasma 
gel boosted with PRP. This is created naturally from your own blood plasma and we add PRP, fresh PRP to the plasma gel and then we can use it like a filler and we are filling the pre gel sulcus area here and we can just use it anywhere that you would use fillers. We're going to take this and just go right in through the same holes that we made for the threads and we're just kind of injecting the surrounding area. What's great about this gel is that it does give you some instant volume like your fillers would but it's got PRP embedded in there and the PRP because it's trapped inside the gel will very slowly release the growth factors over a period of over a month so that the growth factors will give your collagen a chance to really populate that area under your skin and also rejuvenate your fat pads. This is what's going to create a nice glow with some extra volume to the skin and it here we're injecting into the nasal labial folds and that's going to help soften those folds and we could reach the tear troughs from this area as well because we are using a long blunt cannula just like we would do with a fat transfer but we don't have to do all that harvesting and this is so great because we can reach all these areas surrounding the threads it will help ampl amplify the collagen production all around those threads so it's a great combination there's a synergistic effect with the threads and the plasma gel boosted with prp this is kind of like one of the ultimate non non or minimally invasive treatments so without doing any kind of open surgery we can really rejuvenate your skin and make you look like you're decades younger this is our omni aesthetics exclusive i'm dr song thank you very much